Hey everybody, welcome to the Taste Spot TV. I'm Tony Bruski. Today we're making braised duck tacos with some delicious all natural duck from our friends at Maple Leaf Farms. It's all about low and slow with our duck today as we braise it in its own juices, some red wine, fennel, garlic, and some summer fresh cherries. Right here, just picked them. That's today on the Taste Spot TV. To get started on our duck tacos, we need to get our duck meat seasoned up so we can get into the pan, get it all cooking up there with these fresh summer cherries and those other great spices that we're gonna put in there. To get our duck meat seasoned, we're gonna start off with a little bit of salt and pepper, the key ingredients to any good seasoning. A little bit of salt. On top of that, we're gonna use some dried fennel seed and coriander, powdered together and mixed together. And when you season, you really wanna get it all over the meat. Do not be afraid to really get it rubbed on there. All right, our duck is seasoned. Now it's time to get a little calla virgin olive oil into our hot pan. Get some of our freshly minced garlic in there. Some chopped red onion. Toss that around a little bit. On top of that, we're gonna make a little bit of space. Just set our duck in there, like that. Get our onions back, surrounding it and the garlic. All right, beautiful. On top of it, a little more calla virgin olive oil. I'm gonna dump in some of our freshly picked summer cherries. All these flavors are gonna work really nice together. Now we're gonna create the, uh, the liquid that we're gonna braise this in, and it's essentially going to be kind of a, uh, a runny barbecue sauce. We're gonna put some red wine in here just like that. All right. Now on top of that, this is where it kind of gets sort of like barbecue sauce, where you see some of the similar ingredients. We're going to add a little bit of cider vinegar to that. Probably about a mm, third of a cup or so. A little bit of liquid smoke. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Maybe about two or three tablespoons or so. And this is an ingredient I put in a lot of my barbecue sauces, and it works really well to blend flavors together. Soy sauce, to put a little bit of that in there. It really helps some of these flavors meld together smoothly. We'll start out with that little amount in there right now. We may want to add a little bit more later. It's one of those things where you just kind of adjust it as you go. All right, we're gonna let this sit here and cook and braise. I'm gonna put the cover back on this. I'm gonna put it on this on a medium heat and watch this uh, probably about every 10 to 15 minutes. We're probably gonna go with this for about uh, 45 minutes or so. Just watch it, don't overcook your duck. All right, our duck's been braising now for the last uh, half hour to about 40 minutes. We're actually gonna take it out of our braising liquid and set it out here on the cutting board. And what we're gonna do now is get all the meat chopped up for our tacos and let some of our liquid here still reduce down over here on the stove. We're gonna come back to this stuff in just a few seconds. Our next step is to get into our duck leg here and get uh, all the meat pulled out of it. It's been braising, so it's gonna come off very easily, just like that. Get it all pulled out. All right, our duck tacos are ready to be plated up. We got our duck meat cooked, we got our sauce all reduced down, we got our toppings ready to go. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. I like to do it open face, so people can see exactly what they're getting, so it's not already all, you know, folded up. People are like, what exactly is in here? Do it open face, do them one by one. Your guests are gonna love them. Check this out. We obviously need to start off putting some of the duck meat on there, just like that. On top of that, we're gonna spoon some of our sauce onto here. The same sauce that it's been braising in when it was cooking. And we let that reduce down just a little bit more. You can always adjust it with a little brown sugar or something if it's not sweet enough for you. A lot of times the cherries do add enough sweetness to it, so you really don't need to add brown sugar, but it's all a matter of preference and, and taste. So get some of that on there. Caramelized onions and those cherries. Top of that, a little shredded cheddar cheese. And then some fresh cilantro. Just pick this stuff, just top it on there just like that. You know, rip it up a little bit. You got cilantro or basil or anything like that. When you kind of crumble it and rip it up, it lets the oils out of it and all that fresh flavor and all that, that fresh cilantro smell that everybody loves so much, that's how that comes out. Same with if you were to hit it with a mallet or something. We could bring all those flavors and all those smells out. And there you go. That is it. That is our duck taco. And uh, my favorite part, eating our creation. Very, very good. You get that rich, 
almost smoky, dark duck flavor from that delicious duck from our friends at Maple Leaf Farms. We've got the fresh cilantro going on in there, the caramelized onion and the red wine sauce, that almost barbecue-esque flavor. It is amazing. This would be a hit for any sort of summer backyard barbecue or summer dinner on the patio. You gotta check these out. I'm Tony Bruski. This is a Taste Spot TV. Thank you so much for watching.